Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to root your Nexus 4. Actually, I'm going to show you how to root it, uh, unlock the bootloader, and install Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, for those of you that just want to do one of the three I mentioned, um, it's very simple. Uh, basically, all credits and props goes to XDA developer Mr. Skip. Um, he basically designed this very uh, simple toolkit um, in which you can basically select one option and then it kind of does the work for you, sort of. Um, so you can choose the option to say backup and restore your device. You can uh, choose to only unlock the bootloader or only root. Uh, you can unroot your device. You can relock the bootloader. I'm going to be doing the one that says one click for all, unlock the bootloader, root, install clockwork mod recovery, etc. Uh, so I just wanted to make sure you guys be, are aware that uh, try to donate to this uh, developer. Uh, he's done a fantastic job of this. And if you're a, a member of XDA, hit the thank button as well. Um, okay, so before we continue on, I need to let you guys know that uh, by attempting anything in this video, you could permanently damage your device should something go wrong. If that is the case, I take no responsibility. You'll be following this video at your own risk. Uh, furthermore, by rooting or unlocking the bootloader, etc., it will void your warranty. So if you do want to send it back to Google by chance, uh, the developer has said that it's possible to unroot and relock the bootloader, so it is possible to send it back to Google in case you need to repair something or something like that. But it's just something really go wrong, you could permanently damage your device as mentioned. And that cannot be fixed if it really does happen. That's an extreme case. So I just want to make sure you guys are aware of that. Uh, the file can be downloaded in this uh, forum post. I'll put a link to this forum post in the description below. Once you're there, just scroll down a little bit and just hit this click here to download. You're going to get this page, hit the download button, install it, and we'll continue from there. Okay, so should one of the options you want to use uh, require ADB mode? It's actually hidden in Android 4.2, so what you need to do is go to your phone system settings, go all the way down to about phone, and look for your build number and just keep tapping it. Not too fast. Uh, see, you're getting a countdown. Okay, now it says you are a developer. Uh, you can go back, developer options, and you can turn it on, you can turn USB debugging on. So that's how you get USB debugging mode in Android 4.2. Uh, so the toolkit is up and running, but before we can do anything on this list, you must install the uh, drivers. So just simply select number one, enter, and uh, you, you choose your operating system, etc. Okay, so keep in mind, uh, should something go wrong while installing the drivers, uh, read, read through the first post and the second post. It seems like a lot of reading, but to be honest, uh, they're separated quite nicely uh, by header settings. So, um, in, basically, I've booted my device into fast boot mode. So because I'm in fast boot mode and I plugged it in and the drivers installed successfully, my device serial number shows up. If you're using a ADB debugging mode, then your your serial number should show up underneath here instead. So if you're having trouble with the serial number not showing up while the device is plugged in, uh, refer to the first and second post by Mr. Skip. Okay, so basically um, what I did is in order to start into the uh, fast boot mode, power off the device, and what you're going to do is press and hold the up and down volume button and the power button at the same time and don't let it go until you get this screen. Plug it in, and again, as mentioned, uh, your serial, num serial number should show up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, because I want to unlock the bootloader, root, uh, busybox, custom recovery, etc., I'm gonna select option eight. Okay, so because we're pushing root, uh, you'll notice that there are two options. To basically summarize what's written here, you can already see that uh, option one is disabled. Because I'm running an Android 4.2 device, you know, because it is a Nexus 4, we can only select option 2, which is Super SU. So we're going to do that. 2, enter. And now we're going to hit uh, Custom Recovery. Um, this, this is a preference. You, it doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm used to Clockwork Mod Touch Recovery. I've never used Team uh, Win uh, Recovery Project. I think that's what number 2 stands for. So I'm going to select number 1 because I'm just used to it. Okay, so this is basically just confirming the choices you made. Uh, it's giving you a whole bunch of writing, which I'm not going to read out. You guys should read yourself because this is kind of like the point of no return. Um, and it does give you a big warning that everything on your device will be um, deleted. I'm not sure about your pictures and videos you recorded and stuff, but I suggest you back them up on your computer anyway just to be safe. I'm, it says including internal storage, so I assume everything. It's ba basically the device will be kind of like brand new. Uh, so I'm going to hit yes. 
Okay, this popped up on my screen now. Uh, that's asking, do you want to unlock the bootloader? Press the up volume button to select yes. Then hit the power button to actually select it. Okay, uh, so it just said it's done. It's just doing its thing. Okay, so basically uh, the device restarted once I selected yes to unlock the bootloader. There's the unlock icon on the startup screen. Um, the, it says that basically the device will, will restart perhaps even more than once and we need to go to the system settings, hit developer options and enable USB debugging mode uh, which I showed you about earlier and from there the the procedure will continue to kind of push root access and etc. Okay so the device is finally finished booting up it did take a little while um, and it asked me to input my gmail information etc all the usual stuff as if you first got the device I ignored all that <coughs> I just skipped everything uh, I can go to phone system settings uh, okay developer options has disappeared so again we have to go to about phone keep tapping the bill number Okay, go back. There's developer options. Developer options is on. Tap on USB debugging. Press OK. And now the, the, the program has just recognized that the device... Oops, it's trying to... You know, get out of here. Uh, the device has recognized that USB debugging mode has just been turned on. So now the program is continuing. Uh, and as you can see, it's going to reboot back into fast boot mode, which is basically uh, when you press and hold the up and down volume button, with the power button, see, it just did it on its own. Okay, it's just it's just continuing to do its own thing. I'm I'm just still sitting here. Uh, the device restarted again. Um, so just keep waiting. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick note. Now it's actually pushing uh, root. Uh, so just wanted to give you guys a quick note that many of the uh, options here are automatic. Uh, there's not much work to do. The hardest part is probably. Um, getting the drivers installed but as I mentioned there's a big amount of information on this post once it's done all, everything is pretty self-explanatory here on this uh, in this program rather okay so the process took about an, like another two three minutes and it went back to the main menu on its own the, de the device rebooted a number of times um, see it's back to normal but I want to see if we have root so let's see okay go away let's see okay there's super su so okay, I have root access. Now the last test to do is to boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So to do that, basically power off your device and we'll continue from there. Okay, so I want to do a test if I have Clockwork Mod Recovery up and running properly. Um, for those of you that did not use the option I did, where it says rename, you know, the option number eight, one click for all and rename, please, uh, there's a note about that. If you, if you plan to do Clockwork Mod Recovery outside of option eight, you'll have to read a special note about that in this post. Okay, so we want to boot into recovery, right, to see if we have it. So you're going to boot into fast boot mode again. Um, you're going to press and hold both volume buttons. Actually, I think you can even just press and hold the down volume button and the power button. Let's try that. So a down volume button and power button only. Okay, so you're back into fast boot mode. Uh, again, you're going to navigate with the volume buttons up and down. So we're going to navigate to whoops, recovery mode. Press the power button to select it. And here we have clockwork mod recovery. So that's uh, basically it. Everything is done. I've rooted my device, loaded clockwork mod recovery, and unlocked the bootloader. S mainly, most for the most part, with literally like selecting one option. And uh, as I said, I was just kind of sitting there while this thing did the process on its own. So, if you found this video useful, check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.